So the next organelle we're going to be discussing is the cell membrane. And it's made up of a lipid bilayer, which essentially means it has two layers of phospholipids that have a hydrophobic tail and a hydrophilic head. Now, referring back to our old lessons, we knew that hydrophobic means it's afraid of water. It doesn't want to be anywhere near water. And the tails of this lipid bilayer are afraid of water. So they're called hydrophobic tails. And the hydrophilic head means that, guess what? It likes water. and it doesn't, It's not afraid to be around it. So we're going to make a lipid bilayer using some clay. And you can either use pipe cleaner as the tails, or you can use a couple straws from our last uh, experiment as the tails as well. Now you simply just take your hydrophilic head, the head that likes water, and you can just put, make a couple tails using pipe cleaner or straw. So it looks like this, like an upside down V. One side of the lipid bilayer, made up of two layers, can be one color of straw or pipe cleaner, and the other can be made up with the other color. So that you can kind of tell the difference of, between the two layers. So here we have a pink layer and a orange layer. Now they're arranged opposing sides. These two tails don't like to be near water, so they're kind of centered in the middle. And the heads, which aren't afraid of water, that like to be around water, are facing either inside the cell or outside of the cell, because a large amount of the cell is made up of water. So an example of something else that is hydrophobic, that doesn't like water, is oil. So whenever you have oil on top of water, like in a spaghetti pot, you notice how it stays on top in the little round globules? That's because it's hydrophobic, just like the tail end of our phospholipid bilayer. Exactly. Now these are all arranged closely together. I'll make another example to show you. So that very, very, very few things can pass through. Now that's semi-permeable. Some things are able to penetrate through this membrane, but for the most part, this membrane helps to control what things are allowed into and out of the cell. So they're closely arranged as such to create a little barrier of sorts to monitor what can come into and out of the cell. Exactly. So we're going to um, bring the videos over here so you guys can see our example of the cell membrane, which is a phospholipid bilayer. This is how it can be arranged. One layer and the second part of the phospholipid bilayer. Here's our example with the straws as well. Okay, have fun making your model.